prize half of football team's helmets in just a matter of minutes. Well, you can, thanks to a company in Elkhart. And with the recent spread of staph infections, you can bet that technology is getting a lot of attention. Stephanie Stang checked out the Elkhart company today. She joins us with more. Stephanie? Well, as you two know, staph infections keep popping up in schools across the country. Now many of those schools are looking for quick and easy ways to prevent infection. That's where sports ozone comes into play. Chances are when the Colts are on the field, the equipment they're wearing has been cleaned by a new machine made in Elkhart. They're one of 10 NFL teams that use the Sports Ozone, aims to protect people and their equipment from harmful bacteria. It's a patented system made only in Elkhart that sterilizes sports equipment using ozone. O3, or ozone, is a stronger disinfectant and oxidant than hydrogen peroxide, bleach, and iodine. So now that's common things in every locker room used to sanitize with. But it's stronger than those items. The machine can fit about 24 helmets in it at once and takes 14 minutes to run a cycle. It was originally designed as a way to get rid of odor, but more importantly, it stops the spread of infection. And with the recent staph infections going on around the country, the company says they've seen an increase in phone calls. Our inquiries and orders have gone up tenfold. We're trying to ramp up production to try to meet the demand. But the company reminds schools and sports teams that they can only minimize the risk. Nothing's foolproof. That's why they still recommend another simple solution, washing your hands. People are starting to learn that we need a total risk management program. And what that means is there's no silver bullet that kills everything. If there was, this wouldn't have evolved out of hospitals. For now, sports owns those. Ozone says they can keep up with the demand, but they believe the company will keep growing if people will keep calling like they have been. And Stephanie, how much does the machine cost? Well, they start at around 13 and they go all the way up to $16,000. Wow. And we're told that the filters are really easy to replace. Okay, very interesting. Thanks, mm -hmm. Stephanie. 